I joined Starling because it was an opportunity to be part of something special. Starling's going to take over the world, right? Every part of Starling is technology. Two or three times a week, I um, push a production release. Write code that builds the bank, all sorts of code for the phone, for the back end, and for the management portal. From a technology perspective, our engineers are integral to everything that we deliver. Our chief exec, she may not always admit to this, but our chief exec started life as an engineer in banking. And I think that, that comes through. I think we're really good at working in cross-functional teams. The team <laughs> is the main thing, right? We're more like a technology business where our product is banking rather than a bank with an IT department. It's been 100 years since there's been any innovation in the banking sector. The time was right. The world was changing. The respect that the engineers have shown, the input they have into the business and the way things are, are delivered here is engineering focused. It's a, it's a sort of technology and software for us company. We can disrupt traditional banking. Regulation had changed and payment systems were more advanced than ever. Our favourite feature of what we're doing really is the open banking, being part of open banking and the APIs. Postbank banking is very important to us. So the big thing that's coming soon is a lot of integration between your banks and all the other platforms you rely on. Code that has been written is releasable. And that, that's giving us a pace that's simply unmatched. I have real faith in the executive team, the leadership, and I have a lot of fun every day with, with uh, my friends and colleagues. I enjoy startup work. The excitement that you get from working in something that is really cutting edge. <laughs>